Hey guys, even here, so Tampa Pro 2021 day one started, the pre-judging of Classic with Zeke went down, and this was your potential winner, or is he? Steve Lorius. so instead of asking you a question, did he win this show, I'm gonna ask you, did he lose this show, because it was kind of his show to lose. He is, at least on Instagram, one of the most genetically blessed bodybuilders in Classic Physique. And also, prior to this show, we saw a lot of really freaking impressive photos. He posted this photo a couple of days ago. He claims that this was his condition to get three weeks out. The shape looks phenomenal, he looks extremely classic, he might even look better than Chris Bumstead as far as classic lines go, but uh, no way, on the stage, not the same story. When I saw this, I thought if he was this condition three weeks out, I'm sure he's hammering it down the final three weeks, and he's gonna be peeled, finally. Last time we saw him at Arnold Classic, and he was third. And the only reason he didn't win that Arnold Classic, guys, keep in mind, Arnold Classic is much harder to win than Tampa. That reason was conditioning, if you ask me. I think he was more, more, more complete, more genetically blessed overall, better classic physique bodybuilder than uh, Terence Ruffin or Alex Cambronero, but he was third in that show, which was a very good show, but he was not conditioned. And this was him at Tampa. I think he was not very conditioned, I think he was off again. I don't know if he didn't diet enough, is he fat, is he just watery, did he just mess up the peak week, I'm not sure about that, but when I was watching this, uh, this, guest, this posing routine, I almost accidentally said guest posing, so you can guess why, I thought he was not conditioned enough, I would love to see him shredded, shredded, peeled, and this show, look at the waistline, such a small waistline, good shape, not really amazing shape, in some poses he looks extremely classic, in some others, like side chest, not, not very classic, but still, he can be one of the top guys, yes, and winning Tampa would get him to the Mr. Olympia stage, unfortunately, he didn't really bring the conditioning. Is it gonna be enough, though? I'm not sure, guys, there is like 50 competitors in Classic Physique, and I don't know any of them, honestly, except for Steve Lourdes, I'll, I'll be honest, maybe I missed somebody, but there are no popular, well-known guys in this lineup, and Steve, I think he didn't win this, this lineup, look at the guy next to him, the white guy on the right, he looks more conditioned, as far as the Classic lines, it's close, I mean, yeah, maybe Steve has a little bit better genetics, but... With this conditioning, you can't really see what you need to see. And this guy has better details and better conditioning overall. And right here you can see when Steve does the side chest. I mean, this is why he cannot really beat Chris Bumstead. A look at his side chest. It's not that classic, right? Chris says is way better, way better. He does have a really tiny waist, probably smaller than, than anybody, really, on that, on that stage. Or in classic physique in general, because it's really, really rare to see somebody has these, these small, small joints and waist and everything, and also a lot of muscle, big arms, stuff like that. But conditioning, again, you can see the other guys, a lot of them are better conditioned than him. And now he was in the middle, because of his lines, because of the genetics, because of his name, probably. And also, yeah, he's looking good, but to win, I don't see that happening, really. And then the judges actually moved him. Look at this, they moved him on the side. So yeah, most likely he's gonna be like third, unless he changes something insanely for the finals, but uh, it's gonna be today, so there isn't really enough time, a lot of time. Yeah, I don't think he can, he can win this show. And uh, him, I mean, he almost won the Arnold Classic that year, and now can't even win Tampa, it's disappointing, honestly. I thought he's gonna do much better than this. Look, I might be wrong, I might be wrong, I, maybe he can pull the win somehow, but I mean, look at the conditioning, look at the glutes, the hamstrings, and overall, you can just see that his skin is not that thin, he's not that tight, you can't really see the details and deep cuts and stuff, he is in a conditioning uh, like of a open, not really open bodybuilder, but like, some bodybuilders in the open have better details, honestly, so yeah, for classic, you need to be carved, you need to be carved out of stone, you need to be hard as rock, and he is not that, Lighting is not great. Lighting is horrible, if you ask me. Yes, it's, it's really, really bad lighting. And the other guys, I don't really know them. And I don't really have super, super aesthetic classic lines. But they came more prepared. They came shredded. They came in condition. So I think that's why Steve is going to be probably like third in this lineup. That's just my prediction based on the way the judges are moving them. And based on what I see, really, I wouldn't give him higher than third spot here. Because he failed with conditioning once again. Unfortunately, I'm really disappointed. But it is what it is. Whatever you guys think, tell me down below and stay tuned for more Tampa Pro updates.
Thank you so much for watching. All the best, guys, and bye-bye.